Like I was just saying, Disney is so collectible. So collectible. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. First of all, there's some Dracula blood. Pretty funny. Uh, but I just saw something. Guys, oh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing in here? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get this off. Guys, what's this? What's that? What's in? What was? This is a sock. What is in here? Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought two units at the auction because I just had to find out why had they been up for auction three times already. We've pulled out tons of exciting vintage toys and some real valuable items such as safes, cash, coins, and jewelry. On the last episode, we pulled out a gold necklace and a case full of vintage Star Wars toys. But we're not done yet. Let's keep digging and see what we find. Alright, I'm still kind of in shock over that. That is fantastic. When I said, oh, I found something good in here, guys, I was referring to this. I was referring to this. Tommy. I remember this guy. Tommy. Do you remember that? Well, those of you who are old like me, Tommy. That's pretty cool. I think you program him. You program him and you say, like, go forward, you program him what you want him to do, and he goes forward, and he goes forward, he turns, and he goes this way, and, uh, yeah, that was big for us nerds, and I wonder if he's got some value, I would have to imagine that he probably does, so that's what I spotted in there, and I was like, oh, I think I saw something good, and that's enough compared to what I found, as we have so much more to go through here, we still might find a lot more a lot more uh, Star Wars stuff, and that really makes me excited. Wow, a whole thing of crayons. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's the Tomy. Huh, remote control. I didn't know how to remote control. Cool. I thought you programmed him and then let him go about his way. PGE, that's kind of cool. What's this? What's this? Ooh. Oh. Oh. What is that? It's nothing. It's like part of something. It's like a gimmick. Huh. I don't know what that is. These are funny. If you guys know what LA Gear shoes are, I don't know if you know what they are or not, but these shoes come like in the shoelace of the shoe and that used to come a little license plate LA Gear. Glass beads. There's transformers and little stickers. Okay, a lot more games here. Demons to Diamonds, that was a great game. Basketball. Look at that. Look at the dust on that. Do you see that? Cleaning up. Missile Command Tennis. Maze Craze, I don't know about that. Golf. Real Sports Baseball. Pitfall's a good one. Yars Revenge, Dolphin. So I think pretty much all these are commons. I don't know about Maze Craze. Probably is a common. Most ones in here are commons. Berserk is common. A lot of garbage. I mean, they didn't seem to really sort this at all. A bra? That's kind of random. What's up, bra? Combat. Boy, oh boy, look at these old application software. Look at that, Texas Instruments, home computer. We found an old Texas Instruments computer. Mm. Atari, uh, E.T., that's pretty funny. This is like, uh, if you know the story, they're like E.T., like they, this was basically made when like nobody's buying Atari anymore and they mass produced the thing they wind up throwing them all in a landfill somewhere and then just recently more recently like within the last 10 years they come across it and dig them all out and try to salvage them it's pretty funny haunted house that's interesting Frogger 2 and joust these ones uh, yeah these ones might be a little bit more collectible I don't think ET is worth anything even to this day but I don't know 
Phoenix is a good game. I remember that being a great game. 1982. Video Olympics, Super Breakout. All great games. I don't know if they're... You know, I don't really know what the value is on these. If these are good ones or not. But I don't... I don't think so. Oh, what's this? What is that? Big G.I. Joe or something? Huh. That's cool. Not in the greatest condition. Who's this guy? Look at that. Huh. Wow. Okay. What's this? Mickey? And friends, Walt Disney Company. Oh, there's actually two watches in here. This is kind of interesting. Hmm. There's a watch on the outside, and there's a watch on the inside. I'm gonna go through that later. That, uh, like I was just saying, Disney is so collectible. So collectible. Oh, guys. Oh my god. First of all, there's some Dracula blood. Pretty funny. Uh, but I just saw something. Guys, oh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing in here? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get this off. Do you see what I see? <laughs> you look in here, it just looks like so much junk and the sun out here is bright. See how bright? Okay, we're looking at this together for the first time right here. Oh, heck yes. Heck yes. Look how good this one is. So the other ones were in really rough shapes. One of them literally had the, a big circle cut out here from, from the mouse. If you remember, it had a big chew mark right here from mice. Look at this. Okay, what's even more interesting is look at where he's positioned. I don't think he's supposed to be that high on the card. I don't think he's supposed to be up there. And we do have a tear right here. That's too bad. A little bit of a tear, but um, look at the look at how high he is glued on the card. I think he's glued two or three inches too high, and I'm wondering, oh, are you serious? These guys are pigs. Oh, but what's this? Oh my God, these guys are stinking pigs. This pisses me off right here. Look at that freaking candy canes melted to it. What an idiot! What an idiot! Alright. Mm. Okay. Remote right here. I had those before. Not in that condition. Look at this. Okay, let's get all this junk off. That is hecka good right here. Oh, there's another one. Okay, this is Power of the Force, guys. If you watched my earlier video, we found one of the, uh, we found a loose guy. It's a, it's a Luke Skywalker. We sold him on auction. He went for $152 loose. It was a Power of the Force, which is like, came out during Re Return of the Jedi. And he's what he called one of the final 17. So the final 17 guys that came out were not mass produced like some of the earlier ones and uh, sorry if this is boring you guys I'm just I'm just in, like I'm I'm in shock right now that I'm finding these these are better except for this candy cane these are in better condition than the ones I found before and uh, they're not in great condition. <laughs> they're not in bad condition. But this guy right here, this Luke right here, is part of what I think is the final 17. And I had one of these Ewoks, I forget which one. I think I sold them too cheap because they sold too fast. Sold them for 110. This guy, loose, 110 on the card. This guy, loose, was $152. I also have this guy on the card for $239. So this is, I think, what you call the final 17 right here. I don't know if that's what they call it because he's like here I don't know I'm gonna have to look it up and find out but this guy Imperial Dignitary is number five and I think that might be considered one of the final 17 if he is one of them and that means 
they're saying that these are some of the most collectible Star Wars figures and most valuable Star Wars figures available. So here we have R2-D2 with pop-up lightsaber. Oh, heck yes. Look at that. It's got a pop-up lightsaber in there. That's going to be good. Yep, number two right there. This is also one of the final 17. Oh, i got to get this off. This is really bugging me. I'm feeling... Oh, jeez. I don't want to rip it. It's bugging me. It's like I feel OCD over it. Oh. Okay. That's another one. Oh, you guys. This is so good. So good. Imperial Gunner. Okay, we're missing the corner. No, he's just flipped over. That's a condition issue, though. Imperial Gunner. Where's he at? Number 11. There he is. Okay, I think he might be one of the 17, too. If I'm right, each of these is probably going to be worth about 200 bucks. Each of these is probably worth 200 bucks. That's my guess. 200 bucks. Alright, guys. Whatever I find at this point is probably going to be pretty boring in comparison. This is for an Atari. This joystick right here. That's a nice... Oh, it's really seized up. But another one of these guys. Oh, this is Thundercats, huh? So let me know what this is. Yeah. Bring him to the auction. Right here. Yup. 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 Oh, oh. Did I just break him? Nah. Yep. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, oh. What is this? Robotech. Huh. I've never seen one. On the card is definitely good. 1985. Guys, that's, that's good too. What? Could this be uh, big money? We're gonna find out. All right, you guys. This dresser right here. So we've got four drawers of mystery. And like I said before, that dresser on the end that we went through first, the first thing we went through in this entire unit is what produced cash. We found, ooh, sorry about the shaky. We found, just grab my garbage can. Found a card with a 520s in it, 100 bucks. Found some $2 bills here and there. And then we found a bunch of gold. I sold $600 in gold. Kept this guy. Um, it was, that was a great, great find. So right here, I'm just hoping that this one turns out just as good. But let's see. So I'm going to take you through it right now. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't really have anywhere to put stuff. Garbage, yeah, but other stuff, no. All right, so. Just checking the pockets just in case. Got a pair of shorts here. That don't look too shabby. Uh, wig cap. Uh, glucosamine cream that's used. It looks empty. Biofreeze. This is a... Uh, Biofreeze is really good and it's really expensive. Put that aside.
my camera would not wash out everything I tried to show you. Stamps, it says, and there are a ton of stamps right here. Forever stamps. That's really good. Forever, forever, for Oh, wow, that's all forever. So this is a... Uh, each one of these is 20 stamps. Um, forever stamps don't... You know, they don't have a value. They just cover postage, which postage right now is, I think, a little over 50 cents. So there's uh, $10, there's $10, and there's $10, there's 30 bucks right there. It's fantastic. And that's just in this stuff right here. With all these labels and everything. There's a whole bunch of stamps. Isn't that incredible? $30. It's as good as cash right there. It's another thing I've not had to do for a very long time is buy stamps. I've said before, I'm, if you do this business, you don't ever have to buy pens. Um, you don't have to buy charger cables. And you usually don't have to buy stamps. <laughs> something in here. Hang on a sec, we'll open that in a second. Some Titan XR Stepo Labs. Something that they had mailed to them. Okay. We have to give each of these socks a good squeeze just to see if there's any money hiding in here. Guys, what's this? What's that? What's in? What was? This is a sock. What is in here? Let's look at it in a second. Bunch of keys. Oh, well. yeah, let's not forget about this too. I don't know what was in there. Something interesting. I think that's silver. See how tarnished it is? I think that's a bunch of silver right here. What's that say? Hmm. What 
This is something on there. I don't know. That sure looks like silver though. Hmm, that's cool. It was in there. Add that to that. Put that home with us. All right, guys, so we go through this bottom drawer, didn't really find anything, a lot of paperwork, some playing cards, I don't know if those are collectible, they were not sealed, some sorority stuff, but um, I got tired and actually I quit, I kind of shuffled around at the end and I didn't see anything, uh, so I quit, I was actually in the unit today, spent the whole, about four hours cleaning out in that drawer, I missed a little bag of uh, dollar coins, you'll see that in a later video, not a huge score, it's like 44 bucks in there, it's just pretty funny that I spent all that time and missed it. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap that up right here. The dresser, not so much good stuff coming out of that. A little bit of change and a couple things I got to look up, but nothing big ticket, nothing too exciting. But um, still a good day nevertheless. Had some good things come out today, and uh, it's getting late. I'm getting actually pretty tired, sleepy. I need to eat, and um, uh, my battery's about to die. So I got to cover this trailer up and get on the road, so we'll see you next time. Okay, another epic epic episode of this third time locker series I, I can't believe it but of course the big money coming out was those Star Wars figures that we found and I only have two because we listed the other one and sold it boom I'll put that up on the screen yep sold it like basically hours after listing it I guess I listed a little bit too low so these two I'm gonna slow it down um, let me just show you real quick what these are going for it blew my mind Okay, first up we've got the Imperial Gunner. We're looking at sold listings here. So just the card right there is 13 bucks. But uh, these are different guys. Those aren't the same ones. Loose. Look at this. Loose. $175. It is complete with the gun and coin. $175 loose. Nuts. This is $85 without the coin. $175 without even a coin. This is so crazy. This one's graded near mint. 260. Near mint. Near mint. 260. That's crazy. This one's 79.99. Ours obviously is mint, right? Because it hasn't been out of the box. 190. So here's one on the card still. Brand new. The card looks pretty good from the photo there. 235. Um, there's 70. There's no gun or anything. Here's a guy with a gun, 154, loose, 174, loose. Okay, so I just, <laughs> you get the idea, right? I can go on here for a while. There's immense values in these guys. So um, right here, now I'm looking at listed. Okay, these are what's available to purchase right now. This one's $600. It's kind of a pie in the sky. Uh, this one's in the middle of bidding. It looks like there's three hours left. It's $63. It's in Australia. <laughs> Crazy, huh? This one's 575. Wait, is that the same one? No, it's not. 575. That's what I've got here. Just the stinking gun. Well, that's just listed, but 140 bucks. So crazy. So crazy. You guys get it, right? 140 with the gun. This is, uh, and here's another one listed, 600. So nuts. Okay, now look at R2. It's gonna blow your mind here. Just the card, 37 dollars. Sold here, 430 bucks. Crazy. Here's a guy, it, it says right here, damaged. See that, damaged? 85 bucks. Okay, so here we go. Brand new, on the card, like ours, 680 bucks. Now I'm gonna assume the cards are better condition. Ours are pretty rough with the candy cane stuck, stuck on the back. I got that off, but there's still a little sticky stuff. Um, but let me show you, that's sold. Okay, those are sold. There's not many, because I think these are very rare. Here's a loose figure for... Uh, oh, wow. This is in an auction, 20 bids, $192. Here's one that's available for $324. Who cares? $20. Bucks. $630. This, one's, um, this one is graded as a $75. $630. That's crazy. Crazy. This guy's got a coin and just a lightsaber. $385. You guys see this? This is just unbelievable 
Here's one for sale for $1,000. No one's bid on it because that's too much. But still, the money's there. So crazy. Okay, now we're just getting into miscellaneous. There's one with the card and the figure, but the bubble pack's been removed. Um, yeah, no one's going to buy that for that money, that amount of money. But still, so crazy, right? So crazy. Okay, you guys, this is like about as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned because I totally geek out over this kind of stuff. I didn't keep any of this from my childhood. Um, wish I did, of course, but I'm finding it. You know what? Eight years in this business, I've bought well over 150 lockers. I've found very, very little Star Wars stuff in all the years. I mean, the newer stuff, yeah, but no one cares about that. This is the vintage stuff from the original three movies. Um, it's highly sought after and highly valuable, and I've almost struck out in that regard. There was one that we bought maybe like last year. A few of the toys, they were all messed up, and I sold it for a couple hundred bucks locally. But these ones, um, yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that happen. Um, thumbs up if you would, if you like this sort of thing. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we just hit 10,000 a couple days ago. So exciting. And then I hit the bell notification button so that you'll be notified when the next edition of this series comes out or any other future video that we do because we got a lot coming all right and good stuff too so thank you guys so much for watching and like I said I was in the unit earlier today four hours more of digging and finding and so much fun I'm gonna show you everything soon enough okay till then good luck to you God bless you we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts okay here's what the back looked like after I removed the candy cane See, it took some of the paper off, and there's still a little bit of sticky there. See that? And of course, I'm going to take close-up photos of that for my eBay listing and describe it very well.